I need to keep my crispy uh, Bayana dollars for myself. Oh my gosh. They could have called it that. They could have. Alright, lowest bubble. Alright. <laughs> Down I go. Into the lava. Oh! Listen closely, workers <gasps> of the Great Furnace! Read it, LJ. <laughs> oh. Hmm? Oh, he's ja Jatra. Idiot seems to da da da. But does Taraga Doom listen to us? Are any of us heard? And does this Taraga, as he calls himself, care for anyone but himself? No, instead we're oppressed and stifled. We're controlled by the upper class through the Vaki. But we can rise above. We, the common people, can get power. Workers, join me to undo the wrongs this Taraga has done. Let the ruling class tremble. Workers of Metronui, unite! Goodbye, I'll be making a speech after the first game. I hope to see you there. Aw. What the heck was that? Um. Hey, number 37. Hello, who are you? I'm the foreman here, keeping this rowdy bunch of workers in line. You must be new, but wait. I recognize you from somewhere. Yeah, play a lady. Oh, that explains a sash. Do you want me to tell you about something? Sure. I'd love to hear about something. We'll see if I can read fast enough. Well, blah, blah, blah. What? Hope to see you around. <laughs> no way. I wanted to know. <laughs> Come on, man. I said yes. All right. <clears throat> uh, lowest level. And then you're going to go to the right. <sighs> okay. So we've got a whole, like, working working class rebellion arc going on? Yes. This is wild. Bayana politics. Let's <laughs> go. I can upgrade the speed of your hoverboard. If you want, I can do it for 250 widgets. No. I do not want Get that. Get moving! So I'm here. Is there any further right you can go? I mean, I went left, I think. Uh, oh, no, I went right. Yeah, try going the other direction. <laughs> yeah, this looks more like it. Oh, yeah, there's the place to do the stuff. Oh, heck, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I see. Alright, finally I can get rid of this. Phew. So anyway, the depressing state of the Bionicle secondhand community on Eva. <laughs> no. Yes. It is in fact very depressing. Can't wait for uh, another ten years to pass and like, I don't know, Tahumata is going to cost like 200 bucks or something. Dude, the expensive red one. The expensive red one. And the real hot commodity will be finding a figure whose joints aren't, like, super loose. Mmm. Mmm. You know? That's terrifying. Like, I have the Mata already, but all my sockets are loose. That's the issue. <laughs> That's wild. I don't have a lot of loose socket issues. Yeah. I worry about that. Uh... That's why, like, I recently found a bunch of Bionicle sets on, uh, in, like, a used toy store. I think I mentioned the story on, like, one of the prior episodes. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. They were super cheap. They're, they're all, their sockets are, like, stiff as can be. So I'm, I was thrilled about that. Uh, I'm just, like, keeping them alone in their canisters, leaving them be for now. Yeah. Which is smart. I wonder, like, if there's any way to fix it. Part of me doubts it, you know, but, like, is there any way you could, like, stiffen the joint back up? Sure. I've heard of a handful of methods. We actually, uh, have a method explained in a video. It's inadvertent. It was more of a fix for fixing, uh, cracked joints. Hmm. But you take uh, glue and you put it on the inside of a joint. And it essentially, like, it it fixes a cracked joint. 
and then it inadvertently stiffens it up because it's an additional material that's on the inside of the joint. But, like, it's glue. Wouldn't that, like, be problematic to deal with? They're, they're plastic-safe glues. Okay. But, like, I don't want to glue them together super harshly, you know? Oh, yeah. No, I understand. So... I would, saying, uh, like, I would be afraid to mess with that, but I might need to eventually. Just because I, I have a pretty sizable Bionicle collection. I just don't know what, what condition a lot of it's in. That's the sad part. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not complete by any means, but like I, I have more than I don't. Um, the earlier years are like the ones I'm missing the most of. But the more the years go on, the more I, I think I have most of it. Like, I disassembled it long ago to use for mocking, which I don't do anymore. So one day I'd like to kind of go through my collection and piece together whatever sets I have. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I have, like, all of 05 except Sidorak and Kitongu. So specific. All of 06 besides, like, Brutaka... Axon and Vizon and Finrat, because I think I sold them to you. Um, you did, because of uh, Cardaz. Yeah. Um, Sorry, bro. It's all right. All of 07, besides Karzani, Lesovic, and that's it. Just Karzani yeah. and Lesovic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <coughs> well... If it's any consolation, you can check out your old sets at the uh, the LJ Johnson Bionicle Museum. <laughs> so true. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, it'll be great. I think I don't the... have the Platinum of Oki, though. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Bummer. You gotta get that, bro. Come on. Just cast one yourself. Oh, yeah. Duh. Huh, yeah, no, I'm good. I think I have most of 08, too. Because I didn't used to, but recently I think I came into possession of, like, the Mystica and Fantoka Toa. And then I have all of the Makuta except Gorast. Yeah, just Gorast. I would ever need to get. I do have the Jetrax, but I never got the Rocco or the Axelara. Or Surprisingly enough, not to check, the Axelara isn't the worst thing to try and get. Yeah, I know. We found a bunch of them at Brick Fair. Remember that one guy that was selling like two of them in a bag? Yeah. I almost bought it. That was such a weird random thing to find. Seriously. Like, that was really strange. Yeah, I'm looking on eBay. Um, One of the most expensive Axelaras is a store display Axelara. Like, in that container for two thirty five plus seventy dollars shipping. That sounds cool. You should get it's it high. and you should get it and put it in the back of your truck as like a display. I'm good. I'm okay. Um, it does remind. At some point, I need to reach out to Duck Bricks and be like, "Hey, you ever want to part ways with that prototype Axelara?" <laughs> Do it see what no it's not super expensive on ebay complete one goes for a little under two hundred dollars um yeah another complete one 154 dollars 139 it's a bid or best offer 180 or best offer mm. 125 buy it now not yeah bad. it's it's because bear in mind this is the most expense it's tied for being the most expensive Bionicle set, if I remember correctly. Why Why has the Scopio ratcheted up so much more than the Axelara then? No, well, let's find out. Because I actually have, have... Let's see. Scopio is several hundred. Scopio XV1. Oh my goodness. Yeah, right? <clears throat> see? <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. Okay. They retail for, like, the same price. One um, year apart. Hmm. 
Doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Actually, I'm not. Did did they only tilt? Maybe they didn't. I believe no, they I did. Actually... Or if it was a if they didn't, it was only like a ten dollar difference. Yeah, it's gonna be a ten dollar difference. I might have misspoke. The Axelara isn't tied for the most expensive bionicle set. Scopio, I think, is. Mm-hmm. But let me see. Yeah, I misspoke. So the Axelara retailed for eighty dollars. Oof. Um it's one it's the second highest priced bionicle set. Also, notably, it won an award. What was the award? Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Coolest non Tahu Red One Award. The Axelara T9 won the French Grand Prix du Jolly. 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 Le Grand Prix. Le Toy. Um, Toy Grand Prize Award in 2008. We love Grand Elf Prix French. du Joyet. I don't huh. speak French. Well, um, Scopio yeah. retailed for 90. Yeah, that's what I remember. <clears throat> really wish I'd gotten it. I thought back then it was, uh, it was too expensive for me, but I wish I'd gotten it. I think it. it is too expensive. Because, like, it's a pricey set, for but starters. Got, but it's got it's, really good value. It's also wildly repetitious of a build. That's why I didn't get it. I read reviews that were like, oh, on BZP, like, oh, it's boring to build. I was like, oh. I can attest life. to this. It's super cool. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a really cool set. And, like, it's very satisfying to transform it from, like, standing mode and in tank mode that's a cool thing but no it's very expensive yeah <coughs> unfortunately I don't really think there's a much of a solution for this conundrum nope not uh, hang on. wait wait you don't need that many proto bricks I don't think is there any reason to keep the scrap metal by itself Oh, uh, fair enough. Maybe you can sell them somewhere, the bricks. That's what I'm imagining. If I remember correctly, I think there was actually a guy in... Uh, I forget where. Where was the first place I got dropped off at? Was it Lee Metro? Yeah, Lee Metro. I could, <clears throat> could have sworn there was somebody there who did take them. But maybe I'm wrong. I remember uh, speaking of the secondhand market. I love little bionicle knickknacks, like just like merch that I can wear, like bionicle hats and pens and stuff. Yeah. And I know I showed you this, but there was a bionicle hat on eBay that I was trying to win the bid of. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, now that'd be super cool to have. Well, the bid ended up jumping to like a hundred and seventy dollars worth to someone for sure. I love hundred and seventy dollar hats. They're so epic. Yeah, no, I don't. So uh, I was uh, I was cool with losing that one. Fair. I think a lot of this the second hand market stuff makes some degree of sense for a lot of the G1 stuff because time rolls on and you now none of it's getting younger. It is a vintage toy by this point. 100%. The thing that I find most perplexing though is G2. No, G2's that makes sense. All... Well, G G2 is mostly at this point. I... I don't know, some of the later waves kind of make sense to me. But the early stuff, like, G2 is 
only just about a decade old. Yeah, but it's, it's not even. It's it's the perception <clears throat> thing of like the the greater world's view on it. Bionicle fans don't think of it this way. Bionicle fans think of it as a failure that was shuttered off shelves very quickly. But to the casual person, it's like basically got limited run prestige. Even mm -hmm. the first waves, which were on shelves longer, but they were still part of a theme that only lasted a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was like it was here and it was gone. Blink and you miss it. Which oh, is yeah. still crazy to me that it like got shuttered off that quickly. Yeah. Thanks, Ninjago. Yeah, basically. Did we ever tell that story on a video? I think we did. I feel like we have touched on it, but for those who don't know that are listening to this, it's like it can't be proven with a hundred percent certainty, but it's sourced from like a Eurobricks post that's claiming that like a um an ambassador by the name of uh, Patrick Biggs, a community member, it's basically paraphrasing something he said at one point that cannot be sourced. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But the quote basically purported that the reason G2 was cut was in large part because of uh, the Ninjago theme basically expanding its media efforts from being one story wave a year to two, which necessitated two seasons of TV shows. And that marketing budget was pulled from Bionicle. Uh, which I think would explain. also pulled from Chima. Yeah, it was. Um, which is why Bionicle didn't really get a big marketing push, which contributed to lower sales. So, the time yeah. this would have happened, uh, it would have been the Tournament of Elements possession era, for those of you well versed in Ninjago. So, <clears throat> it also sucks. And this is also the time frame, the rough time frame, that LEGO was curbing back on all of their marketing because of the wild success of the, the LEGO movie. Yeah. And like they were like, oh, shoot. Wow, that was that movie did great. We it... weren't prepared for that. No, it was a very unlucky time. For Bionicle to have come out. And it sucks too. Because like. It's very difficult to discuss with people. Because people are like. Bionicle did come back you chumps. And it just didn't sell well. Because nobody wants Bionicle anymore. And it's like. No. First of all. Bionicle did sell well with G1. They didn't shutter it just because of poor sales. The sales were just in a decline, and they didn't want it to stagnate any further than it had. So True. they they shuttered it intentionally with the idea that it would save its market value. How many metal plates super. do I need? Um, metal sheets, whatever it says. 15, which I don't think you're going to end up having enough money for. Definitely not. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it definitely does make sense to do it that way. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah. No, it's never just as simple as Bionicle didn't do well because no one wants it. Like, there's always, like, a modifier being applied on it at any given time. There's a reason that it ends up getting shuttered. And it makes it difficult to discuss with people because they feel like you're just making excuses or they downplay yeah. it. It's super annoying. Like, one of these days, I think it would be immensely fun to debate someone. I know I have a name, but I won't say it right now, I guess. Um about the subject they believe that 
Bionicle just does not sell well. I think at this point, you can't say that. It needs a th like a third run, uninhibited by marketing and and just anything else that might stop it. I definitely agree. Um, so, it'll be. so I'm out of money now. Yep. And I need more sheets. Yep. And I need more money to get those sheets. So what I need to do now for the rest of this video's run, it's probably going to last like eight more minutes, I want to go try to find somebody I can sell proto bricks to. Because I'm okay. positive I did find somebody, and I think it was in Lee Metro. I could be wrong, though. Uh, but I'm going to find out. Okay, very good. What do you think, Elge? I know we talk a lot about, like, should Bionicle come back? Um, how should it come back? Oh, wait, here's a person who will buy pure Protodermis for 45 widgets. Buying oh. metal plates for 50 <laughs> widgets. Power cell, no. <laughs> Now no one wants to buy things. Or sorry, no one wants to sell. They just want to buy. Buy, buy, buy. True. I, I, I just walked past that person when I wanted to talk to them. Uh, hey, this is the guy that scammed you at the beginning. Oh, shut up, Shan. Shan the sham. So true. But, like, I know <clears> we <throat> talk about, like, the optics a lot. But, like, do you think we're going to see Bionicle come back at any point? I actually don't know. Uh, there, there. Huh. Uh, hey, yo. Oh. That's not a great conversion rate. No. How many do I? How many sheets do I need? You said like fifteen. Yes. Do you know if I'll need proto bricks for something else besides that? I don't know for sure. You'll because... need five fuel cells eventually, but. Because I Those could don't. conceivably sell like 32 bricks. Yeah, yeah, easily. I might. Yeah, what do you think? Do you think we'll see it? Uh, we'll see it come back. Uh, so there have been some people. There's a rumor going around that Bionicle is coming back in 2025. Dude, I love this rumor. It's like bizarrely timed and completely unsubstantiated, would, but would with we, just we... enough of a possibility. Would we not know by now if that were going to be the case? Um, I mean, theoretically, you could say we do know by now because it leaked. You know, that's kind of the the thing is if it's real, there is a chance that we do already know, um, which is kind of similar to how we learned about it before, which is a weird story that has never happened before or since in terms of like a display manufacturer or whatever. Now... As far as a normal product release cycle, no, we would not know about it by now. Um, assuming it was a winter theme, we wouldn't really know until, like, July, no, come. August. If it was a summer theme, we wouldn't know until, like, December. But, no, come. yeah, if, if it is coming back and if that fervor has managed to leak out early because it's Bionicle, then we do know. But that's the issue. We, we can't really say. Yeah, and th there are a handful of people that are like, why aren't you guys talking about this? Why aren't you guys talking about this? There's well, number one, we're part of the about. land, and we can't really talk about leaks if there was any sub substance to them. You know, if blurry prelim pictures of a Bionicle reboot came out tomorrow, it's not like we can make a news video on it. Yeah, our hands are kind of tied. First and foremost. But number two, the thing that has been circulating, it's not there, there's nothing to talk about there's the there's the weird story of how it got leaked which i do know and i do i can talk about uh maybe, maybe we'll go into that next time for discussion mm -hmm. fodder while i do this tedium uh, i'll put a mental note to tell the story next time because i think we have talked about it before oh hey is, is, is this the guy that needs 10 uncut rocks yeah i forgot about this guy is he the one on the list that you were mentioning? Oh, um... That I needed them for? 
No, no, this this is a some this is something different. I wonder what he needs them for. Oh wait, no, I take that back. No, this is the guy. My bad. Okay. Well, I have money now, so let me go see if I can get more metal sheets, and then we'll end this part. But yeah. We're not going to talk about it right now, just because part's about the end, but also just in general, there isn't a lot to discuss. There really is not. I do think it's about time, though, if you uh, if you think about it in terms of, like, just the sheer passage of time. G1 had five years between it and G2, and people viewed that as too soon at least retroactively yeah. so now it's been 10 years or i guess nine years since g2 actually wait even less eight years since it ended by next year it'll be nine years since it ended so that definitely yeah. seems more in the ballpark of being like an appropriate time to try again uh and you could definitely say there are some things that point towards that but it's purely coincidence driven it's nothing like concrete like oh like i was really experimenting with different forms of making constructible action figures and a bunch of different scales um like i was really investing in new platforms specifically for the construction of like mechs and action figures and stuff with the sccbs system oh you know lego is still doing stuff with bionicles a la the gwp uh, they're still pushing forward with story-driven themes and increasing their marketability by doing deals with Netflix for full 20-episode seasons, like with Ninjago. You know, it's the, 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 the environment would be ripe for a Bionicle reboot. I just don't know if we would get one. Yeah, it's really hard to say. And I then personally... you get into the whole conversation about how it should be done, and then it gets a lot more controversial. Yeah. Personally speaking, I don't think it should come back. I think Lego as a company has kind of moved past Bionicle as a theme. Not not to say like it's unworthy or doesn't deserve it or so on and so forth, you know, some like really weird hoity toity take. <clears throat> but just Bionicle has so much baggage that it just makes sense to do something new and interesting and just different that's kind of a spiritual successor in a way very similar to Ninjago. I kind of agree. But... What was the yeah, next I thing I... Uh, I mean, like, I, I I kind of agree, but there's a part of me that would obviously still be interested to see it come back again. Yeah, I'd still be down. See the community um, discourse implode if it uses system bricks, which it will. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Unless it's a Technic theme. Unless it's just an off, uh, offshoot of Technic. That would also be cool. So I got the 15 metal plates and the 20 metal poles. Now I need to give that guy the 10 uncut rocks. What else... Uh, we're going to oh. need protodermis and fuel cells. Okay. So it sounds like next episode may involve journeying back into Pometru to find that uh, that protodermis source. It will 100% journey uh, take journeying back. Epic. Well, for now, we will go ahead and end uh, this episode of Minog with Meso. Thank you very much for uh, for hanging out and uh, listening to us chat about expensive bionicle prices <laughs> and uh, various shenanigans like that. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video and uh, consider subscribing if you want more cool bonkle content. Uh, LJ, thank you for, for vibing with me today. Heck yeah, this, this is fun as always. We'll see you guys in a couple days for the next exciting episode of Me Dog with Meso. For now, farewell 
and have a good one. Goodbye. Bye.